you good. I you might good. not be. Yeah, I might not be able to see all y'all's comments or whatever, but it's because I'm driving. But uh, I got to keep my eyes on the road. But yeah, go ahead, oh, boss. Go sure, ahead. You're sure. free. Gotta, do your thing. Yeah, I got to stay safe out here. But um, yeah, yeah, do your thing. So. So I, I was with a company called uh, they was, well, Pam, fresh out of school, you know, and they were Woo! starting me off with like, <laughs> starting no me money off like, paying Pam. Oh yeah, oh, I mean, but Pam, don't get me wrong, Pam is a good company. They just don't right. pay, you know. If it, right, if, right, if, right. You, you know, they they just don't pay, but they is a good company though. I can't say that about Pam. They is a that's good. good. That's cool. But, I don't. Um, I've never worked there, so I don't, honestly don't know. I just know what everybody. Oh yeah, they, it's a it's a uh, good. They're a good company. They just just don't pay. <laughs> I mean, you want a good right. company, but no no pay, you know. But I used to do like twenty five hundred miles, man, and, and, and couldn't bring home six seven hundred dollars a week, man. So Maybe you sick. know. <laughs> I could, I could do it. So my wife was like, "No, nah, you got to, my eyes got to get out of it." <laughs> Cause I'd be gone, exactly. like I say, two, three weeks at a time, missing my family. You know, if right, I'm gone for that right. long, I should be able to, you know, send right. them something. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So I could, exactly. I could do it. So <laughs> that made me like, sick. Nah, you, thinking about that. Yeah, you can, <laughs> she say, like, nah, you gotta get out of there. That that ain't gonna work, baby. Okay, I'll say, right, okay, you know. Then me, I'm not the type to try to, you know, company hop, go for this company, that company, this company, that company. And that, so you know, speaking of, sp speaking of that, I ain't trying to cut you off, but speaking of that, it's good you didn't because, I, you know, I was talking to Tina. Tina's a recruiter, for y'all don't know uh, who Tina is, but uh, I was asking, I was like, what do y'all look, what do y'all look down on? And most recruiters, when they see you job, hump, job, yeah jump from company to company to company uh -huh. it looks bad it looks bad it looks yeah. like well why should we trust him with our equipment he's just going to leave it somewhere ban it somewhere or quit or, you oh, know what yeah. i mean so that's why i say do your due diligence before you go work for a company and check them out and you know if you get with a bad company stick with them for at least six months unless it's at like going to cost yeah. your cdl unless it's going to cost your cdl then you know what I'm saying? then jump ship you know what i'm saying yeah. go ahead i mean interrupt you Oh no, you good, you good. So yeah, that's how it was. Like that's how you with anything, man. Like I try to, I try to stick it out to the end. You know, they paid for my school. Right. I told them I was gonna do the year. You know, and I, I, I was there eleven months, man. But that, that last month, I couldn't do it. You know, so like yeah. Oh, uh, so when I, when, when I did it, man, when I first, that's when I first started driving, and and to me, I didn't know how much stress and strain driving have on your, uh, on your back. You know, on your body, period. So, so with right, that, like, right, man, I was like, I was a rookie fresh out of school. You know, hitting them potholes, hitting them. You know, you jumping and doing all that. Right. And so, man, my back used to kill me, man. I mean, I see it be sometimes where I couldn't even move. You know, so, so I was trying to do like everything. I used to have, you know, my son walk. I lay on the floor. He walk on my back and right, you know, <laughs> right, right. Try to try to right. do anything just to get the pain to go away. But I really, I really, you know, couldn't find anything. So. I started using the CBD, and and believe were you it or not, using old gummies? What was it? What was the, uh, your, what it, was it, you? it? Was it was it was it was it was uh, the 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 smoking kind? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was using I was using the smoking kind CB, CBD. That what it, it was CBD. So I thought right. It was. So you, I thought, mean, that, you thought yeah, you <laughs> thought you thought it was yeah. yeah. A lot you of know? people. I'm glad you brought that up because I've had a lot of people ask me about this. And I'm like, yeah, as far as I know, yeah, you'll fill a drug test. For sure you will. For sure you will. So like when I when I started using that, um, I left I left Pam and I was trying to go to another company. So you know you got to do the whole high process, your uh, drug screen right. and all that. You know. Right. So I'm 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 thinking I'm good. You know. I, you are there taking a drug <laughs> test. <laughs> thinking I'm good. So you know you you know when you fail the drug test when a doc you see that number and oh, I have never seen this. You know it's a doctor. You know. Uh, uh, right. Hello, Mr. Cooper. You know. <laughs> have you done such right. and such and such? I said uh, no. It was said well you tested positive for marijuana. I'm like. Man, one. No, oh, no. <laughs> I said I don't. I, I don't smoke weed, and 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 that's one thing I want to let your uh, viewers know. Like you know, once you once you um fail that seat that 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 test, like most people, they really don't want to know the story behind it. All they, they know don't is, care. Yeah, they don't care. You so failed. all they know is you fail. You know, no reason yeah, why that's you it. fail. You, that's it. You know what I mean? So I was trying to explain myself like I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. But, you know, so with that, it's a um, I forget what it called. Your clearing house. It, it goes. Yeah. Clearing the clearing house. House. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. The, um, I, I don't know how if they change or not, but the health follicle test don't go on your clearing house. But if you pass. On no, it don't. Drug test, if you pass yeah. a urinalis, that's going to your clearing house. So now every that, company yeah. you get with. 
can see that. They'll that's see that. They, yeah, they, that's they, that they want to see is your clearhouse. And so I was like, uh, trying to trying to get with uh, another company, and I could never. No, well, I first, let, let me let me go back. So nonsense is on your clearhouse. Now you got to go to you the, thing the SAP called, program. The SAP program, which uh, SAP right. stands for Substance Abuse Program. And in my mind, I'm like, you know, I'm young. I'm thirty. I'm like, I'm not a substance abuse. I don't abuse drugs. I don't, you know, I don't. I don't need right, yeah. this. But you know, the order to get it's your CDL, they that you need it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I, exactly. I was like, I was like, let me let me go, you know, do it. But the time that the thing was it costs. It's not a free class. You know, right. so you have to you have to pay money. And I think like different different SAP program, different um counselors, it, it's different prices. You know, you could I heard you could pay in a way from five up to a thousand dollars for it. How much you did you how I mean? much you have to pay? I, I pay like six hundred. How long like was the course? Hours. It was uh, I want to say a week, a week. It, it it went by pretty pretty quick, you know. If if you do everything, you it could be longer. They say it's up to you. It can be long. It can be short. Right. It's, it's up to you because they they send you so many videos. You have to do. You have to take a test on it. You have to find your um. Get a SAP, get a SAP counselor. They have to do right. an assessment with you, so they have to do all that stuff. So if you prolong that, it'll take longer. You see what I'm saying? Right. So right. once I once I did all that, once I passed everything, and you know you do a a, a follow up drug test with your SAP, I passed all that. And the only reason you do a follow up drug test because they want you to be ready to go. Um, take your return to duty test because if, if you don't do that if you don't if you fail that return to duty test you gotta start all the way back over again from the beginning so, I, that's yeah so, yeah so, so they'll do they'll do a follow-up drug test with you just to make sure you clean and you know everything is up to par so once i uh did my return now this the one it's so six it. steps it's six steps so once you finish that uh, fifth step with the uh, follow-up uh, interview with your SAP counselor, now you got to do the final drug test, which is the return to duty drug test. Now, right. this drug test doesn't, doesn't have nothing to do with your counselor. This drug test has to do with the company that hires you. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, okay. so, so you got now. It's up to you to go find a company that would take you on as a SAP driver. So now, and that's and that's so now you didn't spend all the you spent this money. Mm -hmm. You didn't spend this time. You're thinking, okay, I'm, I made a mistake. I, I smoked some CBD, and I didn't know it. You failed a test. And then you say, okay, I, I, I got to do right. I got to you know I got to spend all this money to get my license. So then you mm -hmm. go and you go through this council. You pay the SAP, and then you realize that nobody's gonna hire you. No, nobody go hire you, man. Like, and they don't warn so, you about that. Uh, uh they don't. Mm -mm, they tell you. They, and then you know, I get online. You know, Google, 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 amazing. I Google everything. You know, SAP Philly jobs and this and that. Right. And, I right. mean, some of you, you, you gotta have, gotta have uh, two plus years. I didn't have two years at the time. You gotta have two plus years. You gotta have this, or you gotta have that, or you know, with me, with when Pam paid for my school, they put automatic restrictions on my license. So now you know you got companies now. The that, restrictions. Uh, yeah, like, they don't want to hire you. Know, you. They'll find every reason in the world not to hire a SAP driver. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So all like, these clauses. Man, I'm like, I'm like, every time I call, I say, uh, hello, my name, my name, do y'all hire SAP drivers? Uh, no, we don't. Well, we do, but got the program, and you know, I mean, I was getting so many yeah. no's, man, like so many no's. And yeah, uh, you know, like I hear I said, it through my channel, man. People tell me all the time, like. I can't get anybody to hire you. And see, Rosedale, mm -hmm. they're only allowed, I think, to have so many SAP drivers at a time. Okay. So, I, okay. yeah, so you, I had a SAP driver probably called before you, and it was like, nah. Then I had a SAP driver after you got hired, and one now that not too long ago that we couldn't take him. So, they're only allowed, I guess their insurance only allows so many. So, that's okay. another thing is if you call Rosedale and you're trying to get on, don't let it discourage you because Rosedale will give you a chance. Well, they gave you a chance. They uh -huh. will give you a chance, but. You just gotta stay on them until one available yeah. pop hit. So oh, yeah. I'm glad it all worked man, out, man. Yeah, man, it, it did, man. Then watching your videos, man, it was like you say, right on time. So I called them, spoke with Tina. What did I do? Did, did I do a video about SAP? I thank you. I thank you. It was. It was. Like, I mentioned uh, something of, about it. I mentioned something your, about SAP one time. One yeah. Of your, one of your one of your early early videos. Then ever man ever yeah. since then, man, I I just I just I just started following you. You know, I started. I appreciate I it, man. Thank you. Cup, 
cut my notification off. I mean, I'm, I might not catch all your lives, but like you say, I, I, I catch it after, you know. I, I can catch it after, right, you right. know, man. Everything you Thank post, you, man. man, I like everything about the channel. Yeah, you I appreciate know, that, that's that buddy. I, see, I appreciate that. <laughs> what I see you What's on, up, Trucker John? Go to, go, to, uh, jo go to Cold Water, right. so. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that was no, sweet. I see, that's I see, sweet. I seen I I see all that, man, but. Yeah, so, so Trucker John says, Trucker John says, hey, everybody. He said, I'm late to the show. What's a SAP? SAP is a substance abuse program. Uh, like, I guess you're late to the show. Uh, what's going on, Rebel? Uh, if you, is that Rebel? I can't even say about Rebel. Anyway, so if, you, if you're, um, uh, like you were saying, if you fill a drug test, um, you have to go through what I call a SAP program. So uh, what what my guy here was saying is that he, um, he filled a drug test for CBD. He didn't know CBD would fill his marijuana, so he had to go through the SAP program, and then it's hard to get hired, but luckily Rose Duck got you hired on, so oh, that's yeah, they, good, man. They did, man. They did. So, man, I like if, like you say, man, don't, don't, if, if they tell you no, you know, don't, don't feel discouraged, man, because it can't happen. Right. See, I was just, I was just determined then, you know, with, with, with my wife, hell, because I, I was going to give up, man. I was, you know, because I can't. You know, I trained, to I've truck. trained like three drivers this year that had sat. They said that they were, they were out to give up. Same thing. Yeah. I had a guy who was working for his, uh, he was driving a box truck. Okay. He uh -huh. was not even, and he was working for his uncle. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, he smoked some, he smoked some weed. And then his uncle's like, hey, look, we got to go get a drug test soon. So make wow. sure you're clean. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. So he thought he was clean. So he waited like 50 days and then he's like, all right, I'm good. And then he failed. <laughs> And so Man. it went on his record, like, bam, that went on yeah. his record. Then we had another driver. Uh, he got his CDLs, uh, and he had quit. He turned his life around. He's like, I ain't smoking no more weed. I'm done. So he changed uh -huh. his life. And he got a, he, I think he got out of jail or something, and he smoked a little bit of weed, but he didn't have a CDL at the time. Uh, then he's like, look, I got to change my life. So he quit. It's clean. Went. Sorry about that. Phone <laughs> just jumped off here. Here we go. Y'all back on that. So he, he got clean, and... um. He went to go take his, uh, got a CDL, and he went to go for a job, and it was still in the system. Bah! Oh, yeah. Never yeah. got to drive. No Man. experience. No Man. experience. SAP driver. So then he goes yeah. and pays all that money, goes through SAP, and then he couldn't find a job nowhere. So yeah. luckily, they, they, but then Rosedale hired him. They gave him a chance, and I ended up training him. Now he's running, no looking back. You know what I'm saying? He's, yeah. So Rosedale is a good company for giving people second chances. I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Good second chance, good second chance company, man. Good. Right, they, right. They, 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 and, and with them, man, they they don't hound you. You know, they always call your phone. I know, man. Ain't that cool? You know, like, as long as you do your job. job. I would say, if you get your load on time, man, you know, they, man, they don't bother you, man. But when I first started, I, I had, um, I can't remember where I was. I was out Midwest somewhere, man. But it it was two times where I had a load where I couldn't get a back call. So I was, was out Colorado. <laughs> Not not that far. I can't rem um I can't remember where I was. It would be it'd be like three months ago. But it, when I first started, I couldn't I couldn't get a back call for like hours. Man. It took them hours to get me. But they you know they was on it, man, and they got me got me back haul and you know I've been you know I ain't looked back since though, man. But that's awesome, yeah, Rose, dude. Yeah, Rose they're a good company. Well, man. I appreciate Rose you joining my live. My wife. So there you have it, man. Uh best thing you can do is stay away from CBD, stay away from marijuana, stay away from drugs. If you need help, if you've got a drug issue and you need help, man, get help while you can before it's too late. Now, like the last guy y'all just heard, he said he didn't have a drug problem. He was taking CBD and he thought that he wouldn't fill a drug test, but he did. So I hope this video is very informative and don't take no CBD out there because it will mess your life up. Now, if you have failed a drug test and you're wanting to get help, get help. First off, get help. And and then go to the SAP program, get it taken care of, but make the decision that you're not going to ever do CBD or do marijuana or any drugs again. Because the worst thing you can do, I'm, I'm telling you, is to fail a drug test, go to the SAP program, try to find a job, get hired, and then fail again and have to do the SAP program, it's starting to go on your record and it's going to be very hard for you to find a job with multiple drug offenses. Now, if you've got a, a you know, your first time and you're looking for a, a helpful company to give you a shot, call Rosedale Transport. The number's on the bottom of the page, 706-226-1003. I can't guarantee they'll get you in because they're a small company. We're not a huge company, uh, but they do help people with uh, 
that needs a shot. You know what I'm saying? Getting getting out getting out here and, and getting a chance. So, uh, but to give him a call, ask for Tina. Again, the number at the bottom of the page. Tell your boy Sean sent you. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can always get updated videos. Right now, I'm over here in the driver's seat. If you wonder why I'm filming, I'm not. My trainee's over here driving. See? Ah, y'all thought I was filming while I was driving. I'm not. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Let's get it.